What is happening? Welcome to another pitcher video breakdown. We had a fun MLB debut. You might have missed it because he was opened for it and actually see on the probable pitchers that it was Josiah Gray. But Josiah Gray made his MLB debut yesterday for the Dodgers. This wonderful man. And yeah, it was rocky when it came to the, the, the line at the end. However, there were some moments where he really showed off his elite stuff. And I wanted to go over this. So here we are in the fourth inning in Josiah Gray. You gotta understand, it's a mid 90s fastball. It's around 95 or so, sometimes a 96 or even above because it's an MLB debut. He has a little bit more adrenaline. Uh, with a pair of breaking balls, it's kind of hard to discern between the two a slider and a curveball, but both are filthy. So we're gonna watch this now, uh, watch this fourth inning and see just how good his stuff is. So there it is. All right, so I love to see this a pitcher comfortable throwing a breaking ball for a strike to kick enough off in a bat. Yes, this is. Not the best one. It's right in the middle of the plate. If Dickerson were really looking for that, he would probably take a good hack at it. Could maybe launch that out of the park. But this is also an MLB debut. And you expect a pitcher to be throwing four seamers during an MLB debut. First pitch strikes with curveballs. Not what Dickerson was looking for. And not to mention, generally, if you're the first batter of an inning, you're going to be a little bit more passive on that first pitch. It's just how it normally is. You want the pitcher not to... You want to eliminate the chance of a pitcher getting a three-pitch inning. Uh, so 0-1 now. I'm actually really curious what he goes with here. You could set up, um, well, this could set up a fastball upstairs, of course, because it'll be on the same tunnel of that breaking ball. You could also follow it up with another one as you force the hand of Dickerson to say, hey, look, you have to be looking for my breaking ball um, instead of sending on a heater. So he did, and that looks like a more of a slider movement than the, the big loop of the, uh, the curveball, but it could also be the... Um, the, the camera angle. You got the call there. It's pretty fortunate. Back door. Uh, now you have O2. Uh, and I got to I'm, I'm just crossing my fingers here that we see a breaking ball fall down here into the dead zone. As Dickerson's wondering, hmm, am I going to be able to see that four seamer or not? Or am I just going to have to sit on, on breaking stuff? But I love this. He's already got an O2 with two breakers. Um, really effective there. Yes! Oh! He did it! Oh, that's filthy. That is so filthy. So this entire at-bat, Dickerson is like, okay, MLB debut. I know he throws heat. I'm more of a fastball guy. I'm going to wait for my one heater. I'm going to make a gambit that in three pitches, I'm going to get one. What does Josiah Gray do? First pitch, breaking ball right down the middle. Fine, strike one. Second one, he gets the call on a backdoor breaker. And 0-2. Oh, this is so beautiful. That's perfect. That's exactly where you want an 0-2 pitch to go. This is the most tempting breaker you'll see. It looks like it's inside the zone. It's inside the danger zone for lefties to drop the barrel and drive down the line. And it just goes too far out of the way. I mean, look, this starts like it's going to go here. And then it just doesn't. Ah, oh, that's the filth. That's the filth you're chasing. And you can you can really apply that to any any guy with breaking balls that are you know you could say are above average or so if you're trying to get whiffs with it, that is the ideal situation. It is not easy to throw that pitch with command and consistency. O2, it is so hard. It's what made Garrett Cole really good all of a sudden. Yes, of course, extra spin rates and throwing four seamers up, but pairing that with the slider down and into the ankles constantly is everything against lefties. Ah, oh, ah, oh, that gets me excited. Not throw a fastball. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Beautiful. 95 on the edge. Excellent. And this actually could set the tone for the entire bat now because you can throw a breaking ball right off of that. And you did. Oh, my God. That is that is textbook beautiful sequencing and execution. Right? Let's review this one more time. So I'm going to put the, the, the cursor. There it is. There's your 95 mile per hour fastball. Beautiful. And now... Uh, Solano needs to take into consideration, hmm, Gray could just get another free strike probably by throwing that fastball again. You know what? I'm going to maybe cheat a little bit. You're going to expect I'm leaving the cursor here on purpose because that's where the previous pitch was. You can actually even see right now, it looks like it's going to be exactly the same pitch. Solano, you can see, is leaning out over the plate. He's ready for this, and then it goes away. Oh, just disappears. And now you've earned 0-2, and you have a couple theories here. Uh, I don't really think there's a wrong answer. I think you could do all of these. Uh, there is kind of a 
uh, a question of like risk reward based on if you miss on this one, what sets up the one after. But let's talk about this really quickly because I think this is a really fun game theory. O2, you just saw Solano swing and miss on your breaker down and away. You've thrown two pitches down and away right now. So theoretically, if you throw a fastball up and more on the inside part, you can really surprise him as he's leaning out now for this. Uh, that could be one solution. I don't know if you if Graven feels like he can execute that. The thing is, if he misses on that, he's kind of telegraphing that I am probably going to go away again. And then you'd be forced to try a second time to really stick with it. Or you can throw a breaking ball down and away now, again, because he just swung and missed on it. Solano is likely looking for that. So if he does take on it, then do you throw a slider again and really lean into it? Because then he's thinking... Okay, it's going to be a fastball, and that actually would mean that you can't necessarily go up here because he's probably going to be a little bit more timed for that heater. So in my opinion, I would love to go fastball up and away, but I don't blame you if you want to say, like, look, he just swung a miss on a slider down and away. Yeah, so so there's the thing. So that's what they went with. That's the textbook idea. That's the, the standard one. Uh, and you missed. Okay, you missed. Now do you gambit this? And say, you know what? I'm going to call your, uh, you know, you're going to be saying it's got to be a fastball now. I'm going to call that and raise you a slider, essentially, right? Let's see what happens. So, okay, so he did throw the slider. And good on Solano adjusting. He, had, he is not expecting this, right? He's expecting probably a fastball, first of all. And then he's not expecting it in this location. Now, the fact that it's... It's a slider up here. He had to adjust twice, both to location and to speed. And you can see that's why he's so off balance. Look, look at his like, oh boy, okay, not not what I expected. And that's the thing, like that's not this this location is not something that should make someone unbalanced. But the fact that he had to change his timing because it's slower than he expected and the location means that he's walking over here now. <laughs> so now, okay, this is this is the call that I wanted at O2. Now they're going upstairs with heat. Ah, oh, and he missed that. He tucked that one over to the left, over through it. Frustrating. So to Solano, what does Solano see? He sees up and away. Probably does think he's trying to get that up in middle, as opposed to you really try to go here. <laughs> you normally try to go here. So he's seeing, okay, that's heat, that's heat. If I'm gray, I go back with heat one more time, but it looks like they are sending down and away, probably for that slider. That's a great pitch. I mean, well, it's 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 pretty good. It could be obviously a little bit better, but that is, I think it's a velocity gap. I think Solano was thinking he was going to go back to the fastball again because you saw with the the previous uh, one two pitch that he was off balance trying to hit the the slider upstairs, and that was just far enough down that he just saw up heat. So then he's thinking, okay, I'm adjusting from here down to here. That's why that one worked. That's a fun battle though. Uh, I hope you enjoy that. I hope that's like that's the stuff. Of, of pitching that makes me so excited um it makes me really love baseball is once you understand what's going through the minds of each of these guys and what they're trying to do um first step is actually making you know your plans and trying to guess what the other guy is thinking and then it's execution from that it's really fun all right so here we go we've got talkman up you try the fastball away understandable i uh, let's hit another fastball here good oh did he go oh man what are you was that enough sync? Was that like, how much sync was there, Talkman? Uh, that's actually a decent amount of sync. So this is looking like it's here, and then it falls down. Not bad. It's really weird. It's very strange to see any sort of whiffs on sinkers down. Like you don't really see fastball down whiffs. When it comes to whiffs, it's normally all up here. Sometimes it's inside, um, but it's rarely down. A strange one. So if I see that, I'm actually probably pairing it with a breaking ball personally. Now he tries to go higher with the fastball to pair it. Two one. Let's see what happens. Ah, come on, you got this. So he's, he's if I'm the catcher here and I see, I see a, a guy missing with his fastballs a lot, just doesn't have the release point for it, right? Because that's that's multiple now going arm side and up and away. What you do is actually you call not a fastball for them to get away from it and then return. So, I know it's 3-1, but given how well Gray has commanded his breaking stuff, I would call one now. Oh, come on! That's not... 
Oh, man. Sometimes, I mean, whatever. Sometimes you get lucky in an MLB debut. Oh, my God. It's not even close. Throw the breaking ball now. There it is. And he froze him, yeah. See, this is what this is what you should have thrown on the previous pitch, though. I mean, that should have been ball four. Um, and Gray's had really good breaking ball command. Talkman is just like, look, he's just throwing only fastballs. His MLB debut, I'm going to walk here. Uh, and he didn't expect a 3-2 breaking ball, considering he didn't throw a 3-1 or 2-1 uh, before. So it's a little bit of a surprise there. And I I mean, Gray has a really, really, really good set of breaking balls. Um, I think that's the thing you should take away from this is that he's throwing 95, which, yes, it needs help. The command of that fastball is not there yet, and he's going to be battling himself there. The secondary stuff is really good, though. Uh, hopefully, Gray has better fastball command moving forward. This could just be a, you know, MLB debut jitters thing, but I, uh, you know, I hope that this guy, show me, show me Gray. Yes, there he is. <laughs> I hope this guy, who's awesome, by the way, if you want to hear him talk about pitching more, um, you can listen to the Talking Pitching podcast that I do. I did one with Josiah Gray earlier this year. Really awesome dude. Um, and uh, you should, you should 100% listen to that, talk about all the process, what he does, the adjustments he's made. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that, that's that's going to do it for today. I'm looking forward to his next one. Hopefully, it's Rocky Road. Uh, that is Colorado Rockies on the road. Uh, it should be a fun start for him as he follows once again. But that's going to do it for today. So, as always, you can su support this by going to pitchlist.com slash plus. You can watch this on twitch.tv slash pitchlist every single weekday morning. But that's going to do it for today. So, as always, make – oh, man. Make? What am I doing? May your babbits be low and your strikeouts high.